Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Here's this week's My Boat feature. Well, it seems we've experienced every boater's worst nightmare, a failure on the water. This can be a stressful experience, especially for new boaters. But if you keep your cool and go through a series of checks, you may find the problem has a simple solution. So this week on My Boat, we'll take you through that and get you back up and running right here in the water. So before you go looking, you're going to want to first remember the basic systems your engine needs to run, such as fuel, ignition, and exhaust. Start with one and work your way down from there. So since fuel is the most important system in your boat, that's the first place you should check. Start at the line where it meets the tank and follow the line back looking for any obvious issues. When you get to the valve ball, that's going to be your tell-all. If you squeeze it and feel fuel running through, you know that's not the issue. If you don't feel anything, you're out of gas. If for some reason it's pancaked, then you have a kink in your line. You found the problem, but now you have to solve it by finding the kink. But let's say you have plenty of gas, the hose is fine, and it still won't start. Well, that means you can move on to the ignition system. Troubleshooting is a process of elimination. So with the ignition, as we turn the key over, we hear the engine turn over. That means we can eliminate that it's the key, the solenoid, or the starter. So maybe it's the spark plugs or the wires. Or it's something simple, but maybe your tether just fell out. When you're trying to source the ignition problems on today's complex motors, there's a lot going on here and it can be very overwhelming. Just start by locating the spark plugs. They're the easiest to find and trace the ignition back to there. That'll take you to the coils. Check each wire and connection and for any loose problems and do that along each cylinder. Well, see this one came undone. Maybe that was the source of our problem all along. If you don't carry spares, loose wires can often be reattached for a quick fix. In the case of the spark plugs themselves, excess fuel, oil, or carbon can cause the plugs to misfire or foul. You can spot a fouled plug by the black residue along the threads and on the spark gap. In most cases, they should be replaced, but a quick cleaning with a rag can often help enough to get you back to the marina. While under the hood, it's also good to give your internal fuel system a look over. Dirt and debris can build up and cause clogs in your fuel filter or even the carbs themselves. Depending on your motor, a quick removal of your air filter will give you complete access to your carbs to look over. Carburetors can be very tricky, so don't just twist and turn anything unfamiliar. Just check the moving parts and look for obvious issues. But with these series of checks, you should be able to determine whether you have a simple solution or a big time problem on your hands. It also doesn't hurt to have spare parts with you on board. To learn more about that, just visit our website. But like I said in the beginning, troubleshooting is a process of elimination. Start with one system and work on the next until you find the problem. And if all goes according to plan, you should be back up and running in no time.